reactions of acids as shown by one molar hydrochloric acid. Here are our specification requirements. First, we've got four unknown solutions, but oh dear, the labels have fallen off. Can we identify the solutions? Using universal indicator paper, solution A. Solution B. Solution C. And solution D. Let's check the colors. Solution A, dark red, pH one. Solution B, orange, pH four. Solution C, dark green, pH eight. And solution D, blue purple, pH 12 or 13. Can you identify the four solutions? The second reaction of the hydrochloric acid we're looking at is the reaction with a metal. We've got some magnesium here, and if we place it in the test tube, we can then add some hydrochloric acid. Immediately we see a reaction, some vigorous fizzing, producing bubbles of colorless gas. Those are easy to see against the background here. So let's trap the gas with our thumb or finger. And we can introduce next to the spirit burner flame. And there, it burns with a pop. What gas burns with a pop? Our next test with the hydrochloric acid is to use a carbonate. Here we've got some marble chips. Let's take some marble chips, introduce them into the tube, and again add some hydrochloric acid. Immediately we see some fizzing, again better seen against the dark background. And you might like to identify what this colorless gas is. What test would we use for the gas produced when an acid reacts with a carbonate? Well, I don't have any lime water to hand, despite the bottle in the background. So what we'll do is we'll take a lit splint and we'll introduce that into the tube, see what happens. And the splint was very quickly extinguished. So that might confirm your suspicions for the gas produced when an acid reacts with the carbonate. So there, we've looked at two of the reactions of the acids. There's one more to look at at a later stage.